Alrighty, this is the BMW X5 5.0 that will be given away July, the end of July, July 31st or August 1st. So if you want a chance to win this, go ahead and attend the webinar that will happen this Sunday at 5 p.m. The link will be below. Just go ahead and check that out and you can learn so much about what we're doing here. Let's have a conversation. There are many, many people who are afraid to start a business. They want nothing to do with it. And they look for cheaper alternatives and outcomes such as quote, the side hustle. And <clears throat> in this conversation, I want to tell you the truth about starting a business in the ditches. And to illustrate this truth, I want to go back in time and talk about who I used to be. I was a hardworking person. I took a certain level of pride in being able to work seven days a week and not miss a day. I was a hardworking, dedicated, loyal employee. And at that time, I didn't understand the things that I was missing because I'll tell you, starting a business, it's going to be hard because you're entering into a world where there's a bunch of things that you just simply don't know. I remember when I wrote my book, Making Money A to Z with Self Storage Unit Auctions. And one of the most common comments that I got was, thanks for your book. When I go out on the auction trail, I feel like I know some stuff. I fit in, I'm able to bid, and I'm able to get good units, and I'm able to make money. And that's the thing that is missing. Going back to who I used to be, going back to those first five failed businesses. Let's talk about that. I was in the military and I just had this feeling, this desire that I could do more, I could build more. So I, was, I, I used to read these magazines that were all over Barnes and Nobles, Enterprise, Entrepreneur, Smart Money. And then I would order the products out the back of the magazines. They never actually atoned anything. And I didn't understand at that point, and this is where you may fit in, because you're smart, you're hardworking, but you don't understand the things that you need to do to make a business successful. And with all of the hype culture on the internet, that's literally pushing you away from the truth. And this is one of the things that I found out with my first successful businesses. Um, first five all failed because I didn't know what I was doing. And my sixth business, that's incidentally, that's what it was. It was my sixth business was extremely successful because I went through this process and I've spoke about this before, but it's going to make sense for this video. I learned how to find leads. I learned how to talk. I found, I found leads. I learned how to talk to leads. I learned how to set appointments. That was the first phase. Then the second phase, I started to go on appointments. And then the fifth phase, I started to present. In the sixth phase, I learned to close. In the sixth, in the, the seventh phase, I learned how to manage the installation team. So, you know, there's the seven things, right? So there's not just this one simple thing you could do and you could be amazingly successful. It's a process, right? And I remember the night that I, I went in, I had a client that was moving into a building downtown Atlanta and I went on and I managed, well, I really just kind of stood around because the installation team was spot on. They knew what they were doing. They had their instructions and they put the stuff where they needed to be. And they got finished because essentially when you move into a class A building, they don't allow you to do move-ins, constructions and stuff. 
during business hours. That has to happen after business hours. So the guys got there promptly at 5 p.m. and around 11.30, they were finished. And I remember I was um, walking out the building and I was dressed in a, a shirt and a tie and some slacks and I had a briefcase. And I ran into this guy who was in security and he said, you one of them dudes. And I was like, excuse me? He's like, oh, you work here. You one of them dudes. I was like, what do you mean? I'm one of those dudes. And he went ahead and said, you know, there, there's, there's two groups of people work in this building. People like me and people like you, one of those other dudes. And it, it kind of hit me that I had transformed because this happened fairly quickly. I would say 18 to 24 months. It happened fairly quickly where someone I didn't know, but just by the way that I was walking, the way that I carried myself, he knew that I was not the same person that I used to be. And I, I sat there and I talked to him and I said, um, almost two years ago, I was living in a boarding house, man. And he said, what? I was like, and I told him my story. He, he was like, you're kidding. I said, no. He's like, I was worse off than you. And he, he just looked at me like completely dumbstruck. He could not believe my story. And one of the things about starting a business from scratch in the ditches is it's a lot of work. And this is something that I've never run from and I've told people and people get scared when I say it's a lot of work. And essentially what I'm beginning to see is there's what I call the blind spot. And this is the spot that you don't know about because you're a regular normal person. You're not stupid. You're not dumb. You're just, you're, you're pretty smart. You're, you're educated, you're hardworking, but there are just certain things that you do not know. And that, that blind spot is where all of the pain and drama comes from. And one of the things that I have looked at, and you know, I got this question and I, I want to say thank y'all because y'all are respecting the phone number. I've not had one crazy phone call. It's all been respectful. So thank y'all. I appreciate that. And um, this person asked me, could I be a mentor? And I really thought about it because I get this question quite a bit. And let's go ahead and look at what I currently do. I currently have a YouTube channel. There's YouTube training. I've had several successful business, the Corporate Citizen Playbook. Um, and I'm going to get into some other stuff of things that I do because once again, I understand you're looking for something that's going to pop. You're looking for something that's going to make some money very, very quickly. And um, that's something that we're going to be working on in the future because there's things like, you know, as I go back in time, I can look at things that I was doing during the upscale garage sale. I would just pick up certain things like the sleigh bed thing. It's just like, I'm going to try to sell these sleigh beds. And I made like 600 bucks my first week. And I was like, this works. And then I made, you know, I made $4,400 my first month. So there are things that can work a little quickly, but let's go ahead. Let's be really honest. Are you going to make 30, 40, 50, 60,000 dollars a month from these things that work quickly? No, you're not. I would say the things that work quickly, you can do maybe four, maybe 8,000 and it's going to pan out. And I'm going to explain to you why. Because when you start a business, you, you start a system. And this is, this is the systems are hands down. The reason that I've been successful is I've created systems and I'm getting ready to create a new system and getting ready to work on some stuff. And you know, it's kind of funny, as you know, the, the main website, IEatFire.com, has had some, is experiencing some technical difficulties. I have someone working on it, and I had someone else 
comment says it's going to take 24 to 48 hours to fix. So we will see. But let's go ahead and look at what I did. Did I start whining and crying? I was like, you know, in business, there's always something that you have to address. There's always something you have to fix. So we're going to fix this. It's going to be fine. We're going to fix this. We're going to have a webinar Sunday and we're just going to go on about our lives and we're just going to, to do some work. But one of the things that you have to do starting a business from scratch is understand that there will be failures in the beginning. I mean, I've been doing this 24, 25 years. And my website went down. I have plenty of experience. I don't have experience with website. I went out and hired someone to work on the website. So we will see, um, cause they're in another country. So we will see tomorrow what they come up with. And then, you know, go ahead and get this worked out, get it resolved and just keep moving. But the thing is, I'm at a point in business when stuff goes sideways, I don't freak out. I sit down and say, all right, how can we solve this? And I told you in the video what I was going to do. I was like, I'm going to reach out and hire someone because essentially all of the free stuff, <laughs> the free information, it didn't work. Uh, going to the Google search console and putting the code in. I've tried that for like, you know, um, two days. It didn't work. And I'm just sitting there like, okay. And there, there's something else that's going on here. And this is, this is what I think. I think it's something simple. I think it's something simple that someone with computer work networking skills could figure out pretty quickly and get the website up and we'll go on, on with our business. Because, you know, I've been sitting here thinking today and I'm going to share something with you that's going to be available to the corporate citizen playbook students. Yeah, you know that I revamped the YouTube channel and I revamped my training and all that other stuff, right? And this brought drama and some some terseness. But man, the things the things that I'm going to be able to do, it, it just blew my mind because I was in the gym this morning and I was just thinking that I'm going to be able to get even bigger credit limits from this move. I mean, and I'm going to talk about this in the corporate citizen playbook because, um, since I'm a, a technician and I actually do this stuff for real, I've come across some stuff that you will not ever see a YouTube video about because they're not, they're not doing this. And I will be able to get crazy levels of business credit because of this. And I'll, I'll do a video on it once I do it. And once I work out all the details, cause it, it hasn't been done yet. And you know, I'm getting ready to, you know, I'm already making plans for 2024, you know, it's 2023. We still got like, you know, six months and some weeks. I already got plans for 2024 because another thing that you will learn is you got to plan for the future because this is something I discovered when I gained access to the apparel mart, which was like one of the most wonderful things in the world, because um, there's so many things in there that just literally liberated me. And do you know that the people who sell Christmas stuff, you know, when they start selling Christmas stuff to the people who's going to sell the Christmas products, it happens January, February, and March. Christmas is in December. So if you're going to sell Christmas stuff, you, if you're a vendor, you got to buy your Christmas merchandise, January, February, March to have it in stock before December. And that really, cause you know, I was, I was walking around it. They have these conventions down there all the time. I went in there and I was just asking this lady, she, she was like, hi, my name is Marianne. I sell Christmas. And we, we had a very interesting conversation because because when you get in business and when you talk to other people who are in business, you get very, very different conversations. And she just literally talked to me for about 30 minutes and schooled me on the art of prevision and planning for the future. 
it, it was an amazing conversation. I still remember her name. I still remember her face. And this was about, I'm going to say 20, 2004, I believe, 2004 or 2003. And, you know, it was just amazing because here's the thing. And this is another reason that you guys struggle. All your friends are normal people with jobs. So you really don't have an audience to tap into, to talk to, to really teach you some stuff because most of your friends are just normal, regular, everyday people. And that's something else that's changed. When my friends became, I would say, I've got, if I had to do percentages, I would say 25% of my friends are normal, everyday people, and 75% of my friends are entrepreneurs. And it makes a huge, huge difference in your conversations, the things you could talk about, the things you look at, because talking, you know, talking entrepreneur to entrepreneur, it's just a different conversation. And that's one of the things that, and this is going to be hard, and I'm, I'm not going to shy away from this. You got to get started because I know a lot of you want to go ahead and um, get, you know, business and get things set up and get things started. And you want it quickly, quickly. I understand, understand. However, I want you to understand that it took me, I'm going to say, 18 to 24 months to learn how to sell. Get leads contact the leads, set appointments, go on the appointment, learn to present, learn to close, learn to manage. Uh, you know, it, it took me 24 months to learn all that stuff. And that, that's the thing that this, this is the message I want to tell you that I know the internet has told you that you can buy this program and you could be making 10, 20, $30,000 pretty quickly. Um, if you can find something like that and it works for you, knock yourself out. But the reality is the average person in this country, 85% of the people in this country make less than $35,000 a year. So the averages, the norms, the facts do not line up with these fantasies. It just doesn't because, um, I live in a neighborhood where I'm seeing million dollar houses be on the market for a week and they're being snapped up. And I see regular houses sitting on the market. I see people who have what I call the failed Airbnbs trying to rent out a normal, regular house for like 60. There, there's one today. I hadn't posted it. They want to rent this house in the hood. It's in the hood for $6,500 per month because it's fully furnished. And I'm just sitting there like, you know what I can get for 6,500 bucks? So, you know, that, that's a whole nother conversation, but going back on, on point, many of you have got to get started. You've got to get started because, and that's going to be the hardest thing you're going to do, getting started, um, getting that up and running and building that out. It's going to be a very difficult, and challenging thing for you to do to get that stuff started. But that's the thing, because I'm going to tell you, beginning, it's not going to be pretty. It's just not. Uh, there's going to be mistakes. There's going to be blind spots. You're going to, you're, you're just going to, you're going to make, you're going to, you're going to mess up. But here's the thing. Like, all right. I kind of messed up with my holding company. I say kind of because it made money and was successful. And there's just things that uh, when I was setting up this account, the banker asked me very specific questions because here's the thing. When you get in the habit of talking to bankers and people who works in banks, you learn things to say and things not to say. And I, I told the banker everything she needed to hear. And I'm going to tell you this, 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 this corporation, which was formed in May, I need June, July, and August bank statements. And I'm going to get credit for this newly formed organization. I'm going to get credit, a lot of credit. I mean, 
You ever walk around like, I'm going to be walking around with multiple $100,000 limit credit cards in my po pocket. Because I know how to do it. I know how to set it up. And no, it's not some special hack where you get to talk to the special banker. No, 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 no. No, they, they ain't going to get it. You, you, you got to have some real spend. And you got to have a good relationship. That's the things that's going to do it. Because, like, you know, my credit, my personal credit is like, you know, 500000 and my business credit is 750. Next year, my business credit will be probably 2 million next year. And why do I say next year? Like it's, 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 it's June, 2023. And I'm talking about what's going to happen in next year. As a business owner, you always have to be planning for the future. You cannot just sit. I know everyone loves the term, set it and forget it. You know, you got this thing over here making money while you're on the beach, uh, on the boat, having a good time. Um, during the tertiary stages, that's just not possible. Now, if you got, you start off with 5 million, 10 million, yeah, you can go ahead and put that money into some assets that's going to give you passive income that's going to allow you to be hanging out on the beach and it's going to allow you to really do that thing. But the reality is, for the average person that starts a business, you know, cause I got to go back to who I used to be, who I used to be. And one of the things that I look at and one of the things that I've observed is when I was that person, you know, handsome, smart, hardworking, but I wasn't seasoned. When I used to watch Donald Trump show The Apprentice, there was the guy who won the first Apprentice. He was a guy from Chicago and he was up against, I believe, Corey. And he said the words, Corey, he's a good guy. He's smart. He's well-educated, but he's not seasoned. And that seasoning makes such a huge, huge difference because like when you become seasoned, you look at your business very differently. You, you just have a different viewpoint you have a different practicality and you know i know a lot of you guys out there want to get something started you want to start making some money and i'm about to tell you something that you need to hear you need to let go of the sure thing i know one of you you want to start something and i'm going to tell you you're going to start something and it's going to fail and see that's not going to be the test of you that's going to be the test of that one event right if you start something and you fail and then you immediately go back at it again, that's more contribute because uh, I was listening to this guy named Dan Cole, D-A-N-K-O-E. And it's really interesting. He talks about it in his videos. I did this, I did this. He failed like six or seven times and he matriculated. And then there was this girl who had this YouTube channel and then she was talking about how she started and she said, this is my seventh YouTube channel, my seventh, which means there was six YouTube channels before this one, which blew up. It's got a million subscribers. So once again, you will see this all the time that really successful entrepreneurs have failed quite a bit. They have failed. And that's the thing that you have to understand that once you start a business and you start doing some stuff you've never done before, failure is part of the recipe. And the thing is, that thing didn't work. How are you going to take the lessons that you got from that thing and apply them to the new thing? And this is why, you know, I feel, because like I can already tell you, the corporate citizen playbook and the YouTube stuff is going to go into July. I already know that. Uh, cause there's so much we have to talk about. There's something that I need to do and I haven't had the time because you know, it, it's been like things happen, things happen. The website went down. I got up this morning. I, st I went to the gym. Then I started working on that. Then I hired someone to work on it. And here's the thing, the person I hired, they may not be able to fix it and I may have to hire someone else. I already have that thought in my head cause you know, I understand how these things go because essentially 
um, I was kind of following the person I hired and I said, that's interesting. And tomorrow we're going to have a real good conversation and we're going to see where they got and did they get the problem solved or did they do the things. And then we're going to really begin to work on this because, you know, if I can't find anyone to fix this, because this is one of the most maddening and irritating things. You go to the internet and you see this free information that says, do this, do this, do this. Then you go to your website and you try to do it and it doesn't work. That's one of the most frustrating things that I've encountered. So this is one of the reasons I hired someone and uh, tomorrow I'm going to get up, I'm gonna go to the gym, come back, start working on it again. And you know, it's kind of put me in pause mode because you know, the first website has kind of healed itself and just got better. I don't know what happened. And that's one of the things. And one of the things I'm going to do going forward, and this is just another learning lesson. I'm going to get me a website person to crawl through my websites to get everything set up. So in case this happens again, I'll have someone on my team who could fix it. Cause you know, um, I've been really, really extraordinarily lucky. This is the first time something like this has ever happened, but this is business. This is life. This is business. And on the webinar, I had people who kept like, man, drop them gems, drop them gems. And I'm like, dude, you don't understand that the website doesn't work. And the way that this web webinar was set up needed the website to work. And that's why we're going to have the webinar again next Sunday. And you know, a lot of people do not understand the process because you know, I went to sleep just fine last night. I wasn't up. I wasn't tossing and turning because I know that this problem will be fixed. I don't know when, but I do know that it will be fixed in one regard or another. And another thing that I had to uh, learn, and I want to teach you this is in the beginning, it's going to be like these little baby steps. It's going to be little baby steps, but here's the thing. If you keep at it, you keep doing it, it's going to work out. It's really going to work out. But the thing is that so many people will just stop at the first sign of trouble. They will just stop. They will just take a pause and they will opt out or they will tap out. And you know, that's not the way that you're going to have a successful business just being like that. That's just never, never going to happen. So one of the things that you have to understand and acknowledge is your place as an entrepreneur with no business experience is going to be rough. Just to be blunt about it, it's going to be rough. And that's the thing that scares people because everyone wants it to be easy and comfortable. And I'll tell you this story. And this was with the Craigslist protocols. The beginning sucked, just completely sucked. I wasn't, I was getting sales because, you know, we got sales when we posted on Craigslist, but I knew it could be better. And then it sucked for about two months, but you know, I kept writing ads. I kept writing ads. I kept writing ads. And then when it got good, I sales went from, let's say, in the beginning, I posted a hundred ads a day and we would get three to 10 sales. That was month one, two, and three. And then when I really, really started to hit it, we got 25 sales. And then when I really, really started to hit it, we started getting 40 and 50 sales. I only posted a hundred ads. So what happened? The ads got better. The traffic was the same. It's just the ads got better because, you know, um, one of the things that I will, oh, also I want to say thank you for the people who leave in these great comments. The comments have just gotten better and better. So thank you for that. And next, next week, I'm not going to forget I'm going, cause I'm only down to one channel. So it's going to be easier to keep up with and we will do our award and it'll probably be, I'll probably stream live and do something like that. But one of the things I just need to tell you is the beginning is just going to be tough. And this is why when I was doing the free training with 30 days to 2,500, 
the people who already had businesses just did so much better than the folks who didn't have businesses. They just knocked it out the water because they had already been through that, that beginning phase. And that's one of the things I keep telling you guys, you got to get started on something. And like I said, we got a lot of training. We got a lot of things to work on, a lot of things that we're going to embed. And I have so much to do to lead you down the path of success because, you know, one of the things that I'm no longer doing is um, talking a certain kind of way, if that makes any sense. And if you just understand the things that you need to do as a beginning entrepreneur and just deal with that, you're just going to be in a much better situation, just a much, much better situation. It's just going to be way better. It's going to be fantastically better for you to go through that situation. So hopefully you got something out of this. Hopefully you heard me. And um, once again, this Sunday, we'll be doing another webinar and we will be moving forward and we will get these things going. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.